It's cowbell time. Yes, it is. That's right, everyone. I think, not sure, I think I'm ready for the cowbell. I have actually put the cowbell in now. You'll be happy to hear. Hi, I'm Kionra from Kionra Music and welcome to another Song Timber video. Yeah, Song Timber is one of those things that was wonderfully dreamed up by Pete John's Studio Live Today. Clicky bit, link in the description below. And to find out all about how you can create, record and release your song in September or Songtember. Yes, I'm writing a song now. Song. Let's use that description lightly. It's not there yet, but I think I'm ready to record vocals and I now am aware of why I've waited so long to record vocals. I don't really want to. <clears throat> I'm a, don't tell anyone, I'm a little bit afraid. I'm like so many people that I don't like the sound of my voice and I think I'm a terrible singer, even though I've been doing this most of my life and have been told that my singing's not too bad. But I still struggle with it. That's why I learnt psychology and stuff, mainly to understand myself. I'll tell you when I get there. <laughs> It's a lifelong journey, my friends. All right, so the song. I will go through what I've done. I've made some changes. I've definitely made some changes. Uh, and uh, let's take a look. Let's take a listen. And uh, tomorrow I am going to do vocals and I will do a video of me doing very dry, possibly out of tune, lots of mistakes, vocal takes to make this a much better song. Because at the moment it's just instruments. There's waiting the final ingredient. But hopefully it's okay. It's coming along. Let's take a look. So here we are back with, in our friendly cakewalking cakewalk. And I'll just run you through it. So we've got a uh, flute up the top. I still have not done the articulations yet. So it's still all one. I think it's all on legato. Um... So, yeah, so it's all on extended legato. I'll bring that up on this screen so you can see. So, yeah, the, there are definitely diff, def, no, 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 no. definite different articulations and I need to go through those and do that properly. I haven't done that yet. So that's still yet to be done. Little touch-ups. The uh, acoustic guitars I've actually put through an amp because with everything else, they got um, lost. So I've got guitar rug. Blah, blah. It's one of those nights I can tell. Guitar rig six. Uh, so I've found one that's straight twang seems to work, <laughs> of all the names. Uh, that seems to work. So I've done that for the three uh, different uh, types of acoustic. Now I know maybe you're not supposed to do that with acoustic guitars and they've got a lovely tone and everything else but as the song has progressed and morphed and changed into something more then it's required something else and I really didn't want to go through and find an electric guitar and, and then copy and paste MIDI and all the rest of it. I thought let's just chug an amp on it. Yeah. Kind of works and look, creative license. It's my song, don't care. So let's move on. I then did the same with the moon guitar. Everything just started to get a bit lost and it was a bit dull and flat and lifeless. So the same with the electric guitar and the ones panned left and ones panned right. So they are different tones and they come out through a fairly natural sort of guitar amp. So they're not lost. Similarly with the bass, I've put that through an amp as well. Uh, the shakers are still there with the claps and the shaking and, and tambourines, and that's nice in the background and little bits you can hear. The cowbell. We have cowbell. But look, the cowbell is just one little bit at the end. The final bit, the cowbell. Uh, the Celeste, uh, we've added a few little bits and pieces throughout here uh, just to do some sprinkling on top uh, to uh, sort of garnish the song per se. The piano, I still don't know. It's still there to help me with vocals. I might do chords underneath. 
I'm not sure about. I'm not a pianist by any means. So um, when I mute it and take it out, it sounds like something's missing. So it's still there. It may remain there. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, the violin solo, I've actually done solo bits for it now, so uh, which sounds really nice. Let's let's have a listen to the, the violin. So I've got that at the beginning and then I've got this for the pre-chorus. Just the first one apparently, not the second one. Hmm, I should put that for the second one. Ah, maybe later. That's okay. So that's the, the twiddly bits, but it also goes nicely with the Celeste and the electric guitar and the moon guitar. And it sounds like this. Isn't that pretty? But it sort of all gets lost in there, but you can sort of hear it a little bit. I probably need to, yeah, I will. While we're here, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to go into this bit and copy and paste this little bit, because I think it should be for both. If it's not, it's not. Hmm. Let's see, shall we? That bit there. That's the bit. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Copy and to there and paste. Uh, I have got it. Have I? Have I? Have I? Uh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I need to put it there. No, I don't. I think that's in the right spot, but I will check from back here. It's just before the bar of the pre chorus. Right. So we need to move it about there. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's put that down now. See if that works <clears throat> with Celeste car. There we go. Too easy. All right. So that's that bit. So, yes, so I have done the uh, violins. Uh, solo violin. I've also um, fixed up the strings. Remember those boring strings, the poor boring string players. Not boring string players. String players aren't boring. Please. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Oops. The string part that I wrote that was quite boring for some amazing string players that you never know, this may be played live one day. Highly unlikely. But Hopefully it's a little bit better now. You, let's let's have a listen to, to this. I've done it again. Let's solo that and listen to this. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that a bit nicer? It was a bit flat before, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
So that's sounding nicer. And I haven't got it for all of it. I was thinking whether to put it in for the choruses or not and the bridge, but no, just for the verses and the pre-chorus and the outro. So that's what I've done so far. And um, <clears throat> lead vocals, still blank. There I am. No, that's not really me. Um, I don't wear funny horns and I haven't had long hair for a long time now. So let's have a look at the major change to all this, inspired a little bit by Jade Star from her Methiest track where she replaced her drums to slightly better ones, shall we say. I too have done the same. Nothing against Spitfire Audio's vintage drums, but those instruments no longer suited this piece of music that it has eventuated into. And that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing to be flexible and to be able to change things around. And I think this song now requires a little bit more drummage. Drummage, is that a word? But with this now, I have put it all in a folder because I followed... <laughs> I followed um, Mike... From Creative Source, his wonderful uh, video on Addictive Drums 2 because I changed it all to Addictive Drums and I even for the first time even used a drum map. Look at me go. Look at that. It's got a bit of variety in there and all I'm going to do now is just play it. Thank you, Master Yoda. Um, we shall have a look at, ah, we'll have a look at this and we will see how it all sounds, um, with it all together. And you can hear it from the beginning to the end, uninterrupted. And I've done a bit of levelling with the gaining stuff and a bit of the voluming stuff. It needs a bit of work still. Uh, I haven't done any mixing because I'm going to add my vocals first. So I'll, tomorrow add vocals, then comping, and then I'll be doing the final gain staging per se, and then I'll be looking at doing um, mixing, reverb, getting all that sorted and then mastering and then we have a song and it's the 19th of September, <clears throat> 11 days to go. We can do it. It's okay. Let's just listen now. And then, by the way, um, I haven't said it yet and, and I'd like to, if that's okay, hit the like button or, or just press it gently, no violence like and the clicky bits with the subscribe and, and ring the cowbell because then you'll be notified of other videos that I do. It's all free. It's kind of cool. And you never know, you might like this sort of thing. So I'll do more if you want me to. It's kind of cool. And Pete John's link of Song Timber. Do that. It's not too late. You can quickly whip one of these up. Maybe not this detailed. I put a bit of work into this one, but you know, you can do what you can. There's lots of people doing more than one song in Song Timber. Very cool. It doesn't have to be singing either, just an instrumental. Get your guitar out. I got mine out. And then I played it and then I put it back. And I have virtual guitars. There's a good reason. So let's listen and. Um, on that happy note, let's just listen. And, and until then, and a bit more, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.